This is an explanation of how you use a free program, Paint.net, to get a signature onto a Word document or an Adobe document. You start with a, a picture that it would be a PNG image, and you bring that into Paint.net. What I do then is I use the the uh, rectangle uh, tool to here to make the picture smaller so it's easier to work with. So you crop the image. Then I save it. I save it progressively. I'll, I'll create a folder for this. Uh, I save it progressively uh, in a number so that I can go back if I need to do something to, to fix it. So then you go to Tools, Magic Wand. You adjust the tolerance up here to about 30. And then you, you click the background and press the delete key, not the backspace, the delete key, and that does the first stage. Now you go from here to click left click into these uh, areas that are not checkered, and this removes the background. Now you'll notice uh, this one. This one worked. If it if it if it doesn't if it if it doesn't go uh, get the right areas out you like in this case you just need to expand the view and then you can click into that area so you go through and you clean up the the, the spaces so that the background is there and you can also uh, you can also uh, click the edges and you know further make this a, a sharp a sharp sharp lines but you can you can clean it up as kind of as much as you as much as you want with this smart wand feature all right so i'm going to go back to my my list here Okay. Now the next thing that, that that I do is I use the stamp uh, the stamp area to create a, a palette, and I won't go through the whole process here. In fact, I'll pause here for a second. So with the stamp, you click stamp, you hit the control button, you you click, and then you click over here, and you've got a uh, you've got a replica of that, and I, I'm going to uh, pause for a second and make these these stamps bigger. So the way I've made this palette here bigger is that I progressively increase the brush size, and that that allows uh, a larger a larger palette. And what this does is if you if you have a section, let's say over here that you that you want to uh, that, that you want to fix, you, by making this palette bigger, you can easily shore up these the this line here. And I didn't have too many that I needed to mark in this, but I, I find that palette is uh, as useful. Now I'm going to go through a saving exercise again, renaming it three here, just so I can um, easily go back if I if I need to. All right. So the 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 next step is to resize. The resize will make the image smaller when you paste it in. Resize, and I just go down here to the print size and let's say make it three inches. Alright, so this now 
I'm going to save it again. Save as 04. Now, the next step, I use PowerPoint create a blank slide in PowerPoint and I insert the image into the PowerPoint that I just did and then I do control C to copy and I and you can paste it if it's Word you can paste it in now you'll need to uh, use this dialog box here and put it in front of text so that you can you can so that you can resize it and and move it around to you know to how how you want to have it appear and I'm going to get rid of this this palette in the next in the next step now that I have a pretty good signature I'm going to get I'm going to get rid of that palette and so the way you know, the way you get rid of the palette is you you can just create a, a square like this and then delete so now now I've got a, a good clean I'll save it again 05 now I've got a good clean paste now in the case of an Adobe document if you've got Adobe Acrobat Professional you can grab that we're going to need to import the right picture here. Insert picture. Let's go with number five. All right. You Control C will copy it from PowerPoint, and in Adobe Acrobat Professional, you can use the stamp clipboard to paste in the stamped image. Reduce the the size to about ten percent, and then then move the you know resize the signature so you've got you've got a nice you've got a nice uh, so let's go to a hundred percent see how it would appear and we'll make that smaller so then then you have a nice you have a nice signature and you can play with the 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 quality of of this but but basically this is how you bring a signature into Adobe Acrobat or Word.